We live in a time when people go to a building on Sunday mornings, attend an hour-long service, and call themselves church members. Think about this. If simply going to church were the solution, it would have worked already. Could you say it's worked? I don't think so. Uh, Not completely the way the Bible would have us to be. So I think that brings up another important question. What is the biblical definition of church? Is it just a weekly storehouse for more and more people to come and listen to the pastor talk, hear others sing, and watch others do ministry? Is that our measure of success? I think part of our problem with all this is the word itself, church. And we're going to talk about that here in a minute. What is the actual biblical meaning of the English word church? I want to suggest something this morning. I would suggest this morning that the word church is the most misunderstood, misused word in the Christian world today. And if we could get the word church correct, what it is, how it functions, I think we'd see a turnaround. There'd be a revival in our, in our nation. And because of these misunderstandings, it has severely weakened our advancement of the kingdom of God. But let's the Lord. So, just to recap quickly, the word ecclesia meant the people, the local assembly, the local congregation in a particular city. And it also could mean the complete body of Christ composed of true believers, but it's never used that way a lot. It never meant a building. It never meant the place they met. And it certainly never meant the earthly institution. 